I'm sorry about this morning. What about it? I mean, if I seemed ungrateful about the bridesmaid's dress. You've obviously got different tastes. I just wasn't expecting it. It's all right. I can take it back. Oh. No, it's all right. You don't have to. It'll be fine. Good. The thing is, I'm really keen to have an to DJ at my party tonight. What's that got to do with anything? I was wondering if you could try and get him his old job back. Why don't you ask your parents? He has, but Jake didn't approve. I thought if you could put in a good word... Then you'll agree to wear the dress. That's a deal, right? Yeah. OK. You will? Yes. Brilliant. You seem to have great faith that I can swing it, Nicola. Takes one to know one. Minty is keen to get his job back. I know. And everyone seems really pleased to see him. It could be a popular move. And since when did the staff start calling the shots? No, that isn't the issue here, Jake. Sarah Jane's right, it could be good for morale. And the way that Billy gets through temporary staff, there'll be nobody left to employ soon. We can't go back on a decision. It'll make us look weak. It's a sign of weakness not to admit when you're wrong. Of course, there is one person who may not be over the moon. Exactly, Billy. I'm happy to deal with Billy if you'd like me to. Well, looks like a fait accompli, doesn't it? Well done, Sarah Jane. Thank you. People management isn't really our strong point, is it, Jake? At last. I expect you've been catching up on Minty's fabulous career. Sorry. Minty, still here. We'd like Minty to have his job back, if that's OK with you, Billy. I thought he'd be on the next plane back to Ayanapa. He likes it here, and I know you're short-staffed. Who's we, exactly, as in we'd like Minty to have his job back? Mrs. Russell. She's particularly keen. Well, she's happy about bending the rules, and it's OK by me. Thanks, Billy. OK, Minty? It certainly is. That's made happy. No, I can't believe you're actually going through with this. Believe it. But why are you in such a hurry? Are you afraid one of you might get cold feet? Who wants to meet the right person? I don't see the point in waiting. And did you feel that way about husband number one? I told you I don't want to talk about the past. So, where is husband number two? Sorting out the wedding present list. <laughs> You've got him under your thumb already, haven't you? What you need is a real man. One that won't let you walk all over him. And who might that be? Why don't we go for a drink somewhere quiet? No, Jake. You afraid of what might happen? I'm not interrupting, am I? No, of course not. I just wanted to thank you for getting my job back. That's OK, Minty. Any time there's a problem, you know where to come. Welcome home. What's all this in aid of? We're celebrating a new departure in our lives. Oh? Cheers. Who are you going to tell me? I spoke to the landlord. About? Well, they took a bit of convincing, but I finally pulled it off. I know how much you love this place. And I've persuaded them to sell it to us. All we've got to do is finalise the arrangements. You want to buy this place? Oh, with the money your parents gave us, we can put down a deposit and apply for a mortgage. I see. No more worrying about the decor or parties. We can please ourselves. Is that right? Time for a celebration, don't you think? Buying this place is like making a commitment to each other. I can't believe you've done this. What? Well, that rubbish you gave me about talking things through. I thought you'd be pleased. Pleased? You've taken our wedding present off my parents and spent it already. I haven't spent it. Well, as good as. What, you didn't think I wanted to say in the matter? Well, of course. We don't have to buy if you're not happy. Well, I'm not happy. You've gone behind my back yet again without a flicker of guilt. Love, truth and honesty, it says on our wedding rings. And that's how I feel. And you expect me to believe that? It makes me wonder if you've been straight with me about other things. Like this statement business with Adam. Oh, Mark. It's work, the only place I've got any control over my life. I wanted to do something nice to surprise you. What's the matter with you? I never seem to be able to do anything right at the moment. Where are you going? Anywhere away from you. 